Tonight with Anna David, author of the book Party Girl, The Life and Times of Lou Dobbs. Sitting right next to me the whole hour is writer and contributing editor for Page Six Magazine. <laughs> if uh, wit were a xylophone, I'd strike her repeatedly in a cocktail lounge. Thank you, Mr. You Teleprompter. Say my name. I'm sorry, because yeah, of the teleprompter. That's a name's a good enough reason for child services to get involved? Well, I th I'm wondering if it's not so much the naming, but that they were giving their kids too much sugar. Because if you recall, I was on the show the last time we discussed this, and I mentioned, <laughs> faithful viewers will recall, I mentioned that this must be a very large cake, mm. that they could fit a middle name on it at all. So I think they're giving their kids too much sugar, and they're... That, that, that's more of the reason. Oh, interesting. Uh, you have to admit that little Adolf is an, ador an adorable child. Mm -hmm. As a Jew, even you would babysit him. Well, let bygones be bygones, <laughs> I say. Yes. I mean, how long are we going to hang on to this bad energy? You know, it's just going to bring us down. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> Ubisoft says they created the games based on market research. Are they just giving girls what they want? Well, I think so, but I think that the the risk, the danger, isn't the sexist stereotypes, but like the false ideas they're setting up. Have you seen Project Runway? Mm -hmm. It's gay men that are ruling the fashion business. <laughs> they should not be telling these girls that that's a realistic career. That's, oh, that's right. There's, no, yes. there's no room for women anymore. There's been like two girls ever that have won that. <laughs> that <is. laughs> right? Allison, I go to you. Is it limiting and harmful to tell girls that these games are just for them? Here's the thing. It is vitally important that young girls girls learn how to be total bitches by the time they're 12. <laughs> yeah. And I am just concerned that these video games aren't going to be teaching them the things they need. Mm. Um, so they should be using like first person shooter games. Ah, oh, very mm. good, very good. I never thought of that. that. I know you're a feminist, but you have to agree with that. Um, I'm, I'm flattered that you think I'm a feminist. <laughs> um, you know, it's funny that you should bring up that quote because I liked it and I thought that's so, that represents what we do here on Red Eye. Mm -hmm. The girls create this wonderful harmony, the boys destroy it. When I, was making, <laughs> when I was making meringues <laughs> last night, yes. I was thinking that's not true. No, really? Yeah, I was I thinking meringues and knitting. I couldn't question you on that because I don't know what a meringue is. So what sort of gay-friendly plot points might Stanley uh, put in upcoming episodes? Well, there's the one where the guy could go out and have sex with men. Oh, <laughs> but, in a, but in like a superhero way. It's that way or in um, just a normal just a norm, way. Just a regular, <laughs> a regular men having sex with men way. He yeah. could also clean up the town, the crystal meth problem in the town. Mm -hmm. um, was that offensive? If you were a gay know, superhero, I Anna, <laughs> what would your special powers be? And feel free to illustrate it on Bill. <laughs> I wouldn't. I value myself a little bit too much to do that. Um, yeah, no, I, I can't think beyond, you know, what Allison was talking about is the, the special power to just have sex with other men. <laughs> yeah. would you would have a spa Well, you would be a lesbian, so you would have Bill's a lumberjack But powers. Bill's not a superhero, and he has that special power. So <laughs> I don't know. It's not really about fairness, and it's not about balance. College is about dousing yourself in patchouli, playing hacky sack, and listening <laughs> to some groovy tunes. Oh, to be honest, Greg, I was totally tuning out your entire catalog <laughs> because I didn't think I was going to be quizzed on it, much the way I treated college, actually. So I was sort of agree with Allison that, like, who really cares? It was really about the keg party. Uh, okay. Here's a point that she wanted to make. How yes. many stand-up comedians are doing stuff in front of pinned back frogs? That's something that you said earlier. Though. I, I thought to say that was Allison's a... name and then blamed it on a teleprompter problem. <laughs> She's on the show every week, Greg. <laughs> Come on. I didn't see the name. I think it, I just went right by me. Mm, okay. It is Allison Rosen, correct? <laughs> I yeah, believe. last time I checked. Well, Adolf Hitler Rosen. So. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm. I'm looking at you in a different light. Yeah. Let, uh, let me welcome back our guest, Anna David. She's co-hosting The Adult World Unzipped, January 25th on G4 TV. She's so hot that on weekends she doubles as a campfire. <laughs> and Allison Rosen, Page Six Magazine contributing editor, writer, and comedian. She has more titles than the public library. <laughs> Well, there's no guarantee, Greg. You know, I mean, it said in that article, there it is no guarantee. $300,000 to that cute little thing is going to cost 300 grand. Oh, demon. And he could, you know, turn out to be like a bill. You know what I mean? Like, you <laughs> yes. never know what you're going to get. That and what you want to do is take your baby, which you is not, it's not a good time to have Sell a baby it. right now. No, take your baby and you put it in the bank and you wait until <laughs> it's a better time. Take it out. But put it in the bank. Do not stuff your baby under your mattress, no, as nervous as you terrible. are. Because, <laughs> Anna, I go to you. Is isn't this a beautiful story? It's proof. 
<laughs> it's that proof love that love, all. love conquers all. Well, this is what I think. I think it's just getting rougher and rougher for the ladies out there. I mean, yes. it used to be like if he'd been married many times, you were like, well, I really wouldn't date him. Now he can not only be married multiple times, but he, he can have the wives disappear or be dead, <laughs> yeah. and we'll still do it. Exactly. Like, that's how rough it is. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Do you think Christina has any idea what she's getting into herself into? I mean, how would she possibly really? You know? <laughs> yeah. It's not like she can find out news about him out there. It's no. not like she could Google search him. I mean, because, yeah. like, is it Drew Peterson, the wife killer, or Drew Peterson, the guy who ran a marathon? Yeah. Allison, That's if Drew Peterson asked you out, would you say yes? In a hot minute. <laughs> I, I, um, I feel bad for him. He's that a is. widower. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's hard for him to keep a woman around. Those widowers. How's the Twittering going? Uh, it's going so well. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, no Andy and I are kind of engaged in a little competition about who can get more followers. And last I checked before the show, Andy, you had about 812, and I had about 6,015. Yeah, uh, something like that. Hey, Anna, yeah. what's AEE09? Well, that's a good question. But first, let's talk about how you refuse to follow me on Twitter, Andy Levy. I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't refuse to follow you. You're just not interested. Hey, is AEE